Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is Tracy with Mountain Grace Arts. You could be watching me in the Dab and Swish Bootcamp group. You could be watching me on Mountain Grace Arts. You could be watching me on Dueling Tracy's. And you could be watching me on Tracy's creative page. Um, either way, we are going to paint a version of this. It's not going to be exactly like this. We're going to change it up a little bit on a serving tray. So I already taped off my edges because this will get stained or something a different color and I don't want my paints that I'm going to paint in the inside to get on it. So we're going to get started. I'm going to pull the camera down here so you can see and I'll pop my head in every once in a while. I wish I had a, I don't know, I don't have the right chair or something. So we're going to I think I can maybe switch this around this way. Does that help? That might help. There we go. And I have these earrings and I'm going to take them off. Um, I don't need earrings to paint. Okay, so we're going to just go in. I did a bunch of colors here. We got white. We have this aquamarine blue. We have a Caribbean blue. That's going to be our sky colors. Then I have two greens. I have a holly green. I know it sounds like Christmas, but nope, it's not. And crisp green, a little bit brighter one. That's going to be serving as our grass. And then we'll also go in with a little bit of mud. And then that'll be down below for the um, truck. So on this one, we had painted all of a lot of the background after we stenciled on the truck around it. Um, so this time we are going to do the whole entire background, then do all of our stenciling. So that's how we're going to work it this time. Okay. So we're going to go right in and we're going to just do all the different blues and whites together. And I just kind of want this wispy ombre look for my sky. And when you pop on, just say hi, let me know where you're from and what you're doing today on a beautiful Saturday. I don't know how your Saturday is and where you live, but let me know where you live and what the weather's like there. Love to know where everybody is tuning in from and what their weather's like. So we're just gonna keep on, let's see, I can do it this way so then you can see kind of what I'm doing. And I'm just grabbing both, all three colors and just kind of going in. If I feel like I want a little bit more white in certain areas, I'll pick the white up. And we're just going to go right up against that paint paint, paint tape, the tape edge that I did, um, just so we can get all that all the way up to the end. And then, however, hopefully it, I won't have a lot of bleeding in my taping. Sometimes I do. I get bummed. Then I change up what I'm going to do on the outside edge. Sometimes I just use an acrylic paint on the outside too. Um, my plan for this one is I would kind of like to do, I'm going to do just a little bit lighter now towards the bottom. I would like to do a stain, like a clear stain. So this would be clear on the edges. So that's kind of what I would like to do, but I wonder what your thoughts are. And then the truck, I was wondering what color you want to do. We can do kind of that teal, a teal green again, or teal bluish color again, or aqua or whatever that color is. Or we could do a red truck, or what color truck do you guys think would be neat to see? Let me know in the comments on that too. And we'll create something fun together today. All right, that looks like a nice looking sky there. So now I'm gonna pull in some green. This I'm just gonna kind of dry brush in some of the greens all over. I'm not gonna do a huge solid of the green. And we're just gonna pull it in. And then I'm gonna make it look more like grass when we're Get to that point. I just want a little bit of background color for that just to kind of give us a horizon-ish look there. And then I'm going to pull in some of the light green and some of the white and we're just going to kind of brush it 
so close to my horizon there. And it's gonna look kind of rough at first, but trust me, it will all come together very pretty. The last uh, serving tray I did, they, it sold really quickly. Like somebody grabbed me and bought it right away. These serving trays are cool. I get these serving trays at Target, believe it or not. It's kind of a neat find that I found. And I just, I don't know, I just got into the serving trays. I really like painting on them. All right, almost done with the green. Then we're gonna go in with the browns. All right, anybody have any idea on um, what they would like yet for um, the truck? What color truck you would like this time? Kind of excited for this one. All right, this one I'm gonna just use my one inch chip brush. I'm just gonna kind of dab it in the top part and just kind of get some of that off. And then I'm just gonna go in. You see that? It's hard to see with that tape on there, I suppose. And I'm just gonna dab the brown all over. I left this space open. I could put some stuff in there, but we're going to put mo the truck is going to mostly go there. So I'm not too worried about it. We don't need some background stuff for that. And I'm just going to dab in brown kind of all over into the bottom part of that green area too. So can you see that? Let's see. Lighting isn't the greatest. Let me see if I can turn on this light here. Let me grab that. Got cords everywhere today. Let's see if we can get some light and see if that helps. Sometimes it does, but I have the outdoor lighting in here. Mm, let's see. You see that? It's hard to see up against that. Hard to see the stuff up against the tape but we'll be able to oh there you can see it better that way so that's what I kind of did for that bottom I just um guess it's better to hold it this way huh just kind of dabbing that in there all right so now we have most of our background done which I'm pretty happy with it's gonna look good once we put the truck in to that background then we're gonna um, wisp in some grasses and things around the truck once we put that on. So again, I don't know if you guys have commented what color you would like the truck, but I used, it's my essential stencils because most of my stencils are, um, but this was the Valentine's one, but they didn't have the hearts attached a lot. So I tape them off and that's way, way I can just use the truck part. I don't have to use all of it. And so we're gonna put this down here and we're gonna have to hold a lot of it and tape a lot of it. That's the tricky part about doing stuff inside of like a boxed thing or something. So it's easier if you're on a flat straight board but we don't want it to lift up so I'm gonna have to hold a lot of it and I think I can get a pretty good grip and hold here I'm just gonna measure it all up here okay so since nobody really commented let's do I'm not I don't think I want to do a red truck I think I'm gonna do this it's called teal C it's it's a little bit darker version of this color I did here. I think that'll be really pretty. Now the trick is I got to get a new plate and some paper towel here so that we can make sure we're dabbing in 
swishing, dabbing and swishing our stuff. We're going to make sure we have a good brush. These are again, also essential stencils, my favorite. So let's put a bunch on there. You're going to lift up, swirl it off. And sometimes on the paper plate, it works to, to get, but you want it to get to where there's hardly any paint coming off before you start, okay? And I'm going to skip the tires. I'm going to do the tires with black by themselves. I might get a little bit of this on there, but the black will cover it. I'll tape it off later. Like I said, it's not easy to do this inside the tray. So I go a little quiet. Forgive me. Talk amongst yourselves if the commenting is working. I'm not sure if it is because, again, some people are getting comments these days and some people are not. So. I just want to make sure that I get it back down exactly how I had it before I lift up this. Like I said, this is not easy inside this tray, and especially because I'm getting real close to the edge of the tray. It will be worth it when I'm done. <laughs> This is when you figure out if you have enough fingers and hands to do it all. And a lot of times I do that swishing, swirling motion when I do this. Today I'm going to do a lot of dabbing because the dabbing gives me more control over where things are going. The trick is getting it to stay down in the spots I need it to. My fingers will be full of paint today. I apologize if you are commenting and I'm not seeing them. Okay. Back down. I have to stand for this. Isn't getting the best leverage on that. really liking this color though. I can't wait for you guys to see the color. Just make sure to keep an eye on your lines when you're doing something like this so that if it moves, you can make sure it gets back in that groove. The nice thing about the truck is as long as you get that main outline, it's not terrible if you're missing some of the inside detail lines. That's something you can paint in. 
Like these I didn't paint in, but I could paint in and highlight and kind of make it look more like a painting than a stencil. And depending on how this turns out, that might be what we'll do after we get it stenciled on is kind of tie the lines together in. We'll just see how it turns out. Almost done with the blue part. Sorry for the quietness. Again, text amongst yourselves if you would like to have a chat. And as soon as I get the truck done, I'll be able to talk a lot better with the stenciling. It's just this truck holding it down with my fingers is not the easiest task, I'll tell you. But I'm going to love it when it's done. So excited. All right, I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush. I'm going to go into the black. I'm going to do this back. I wish I had enough fingers to tape it off, but I don't. So we're just going to be real careful. Let's see if we can get some little tape and tape it off a little bit here. Like it stayed in the lines. Let's see if I can switch it over to the other one here. I did a good job. Looks like it. Okay, moment of truth for this truck. Nice. Okay, we did get a little bit of bleed in a couple areas, but not anything we can't fix. See that? Oh, the lemons are going to look so good. So right here at the top of the truck, there was a little bit of bleed. I'll get that. Um, I could take... See, I'll take some water. Sometimes taking a little bit of water and clean up that edge, and it is. So we'll, it's still wet enough that I can clean it up. Because it was enough bleed. So that way when I put my lemons down, it'll be good. And so when I do the lemons, I'm going to actually probably do a white with it and then I'll brighten it up with um, some yet more yellow because being that it's inside the truck like that it doesn't always show what we want okay so that is the struggle of a large stencil inside of a like inside this box like it would have come out so much nicer if I wouldn't have had that but I did and that's okay I'm going to go back in with that brown that chip brush for the brown and do a little bit more underneath the truck there so it comes up closer let's see if I can get my brush a little more dry so I'm just going to go in here, right under the truck. 
okay if it gets on the truck a little bit because the trucks get muddy, right? Even if we get it on the tires a little bit, it's okay. And so we could. Air from the brush. I don't want that in there. We could even go and kind of dirty up the truck a little bit too if we wanted to, which we can do. All right. We're going to go in with our round brush and we're going to pull in some. grass leafy grasses We're just gonna highlight them all with both both greens. We have a variety. It's more dark in there. We could even put a cactus in the background. That would be fun. Because that's where I live. I live in Cactusville. When we go out and about, there's cactus everywhere. All right. So, oh, the white's going all over the place. Let's get... I'm going to kind of add some detail into this truck here. Just bring it together a little bit better since we kind of had some, so we're going to paint in this, the windows with some white, and then we're going to get Somehow I have blue in my white, so that's okay. Do my shading. A little shaky today for my coffee. If you didn't notice, there is a link if you would like to get on that wait list for my stencil club um, it's a membership and super excited there's already quite a few that have signed up on the wait list and they are my founding members and that will be open until may 15th for founding members and then i'm going to be closing that and opening it to the public so um and with founding members you're going to be able to help make some decisions and things I'll probably put you guys on a separate email list to ask questions and things like that so I'm really excited about it there's a lot of excitement going on around it they all want to learn and we've got new projects every month going in and lots of fun 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 activities happening in that group so I'm super excited I got almost the whole layout for me done so there'll be some videos on how to things different tips so yeah it's gonna be neat I'm just going to kind of fill in these lines and make it more like a painting than a stencil here. So 
I'm just going kind of into that same color, but I didn't rinse off my brush. So it's giving that, it's getting some of that white in there, kind of giving it a highlight. I want to connect all of it, but I want to do some. Okay. Great. That's the light up there. Great. Uh, there, I like that. What do you guys think? You guys liking that? All right. Now we're going to go in, do some more detail. Then the lemons are coming. We've still got the lemons, people. No worries on that. We're going to do some silver, though. Get my white one out of here and get my other one in. Sometimes I use a lot of paper plates. I'm not going to lie. Now we're going to put some silver in there and touch up some of the that stuff like here for the hubcaps. We might have to go over that again, but let's start there. I'm just trying to let this all dry real good before we put into the get the um started with adding the lemons because we don't want that blue to bleed into the lemon. So that's the point of that, okay? Put a shadow of the Silver right in amongst this running board here. And we'll put some silver on the bumper. All right, I like that. Now, up here actually, I'm going to put a little bit of brown in here. And we're going to attach it like that. Okay, it's coming together nicely. So was anybody doing anything fun this weekend or have any fun plans going on? I also wanted to mention next weekend I am going to be in the craft craft market club. 
that a lot of you um, are part of that visit there and learn new techniques and stuff. I'm going to be part of that also next weekend. We're having a big event for, uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So would love if you guys could all come and join us presenters and see all the different um, art projects and craft projects and things going on in there. I'm sure the girls, all the other girls are going to have some amazing things as well. So I would love to see you over there. I'm going to just brush, brush some silver in this window here. Maybe mix a little bit of black with it. More silver than black though. That gives it that window, window look, right? There we go. There, that looks good. All right, we are almost, I think we are ready to start doing some lemons and then we can brush in some more mud in there. I think we wanna do some more of the silver down below here. And then I wanna do some other highlights around the wheels and stuff too, but. We're going to do that later because I want to get the lemons on first. Okay. So we can still do this 25 cent lemon thing on the truck if we would like. Oh, I got that on there. Sideways, maybe? I mean, that's pretty cute, I think. Or should we leave it plain this time? I'm going to leave it plain this time. I did want to use this stencil. It says live simply. I thought that would be cute instead of the other one I did. So I think I'll do that. Let's do that in. Hmm. I, hope I didn't put that in my water. Always make sure you put your stencil brushes in your water because then it's really hard to get them clean. You can get them clean, but it's not easy. Um, I think I want to do white or black on that. Wish I could see your guys' comments so I knew what you guys would think. But for some reason, once again, we just are not in a commenty type of place. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to try the white first, and then I might still do might still do like a dark blue or something over the top just because it's in the sky. That would be kind of neat. Well, I'm getting blue in this. I don't know. My white and my blue mixed together for some reason. So I guess I'm getting not the color I wanted. Take a peek here and see what I got. Yeah, it doesn't show up very well like that. I'm gonna leave that. Wrap this in my. And get some white by itself out. Sometimes when I stencil, I use a lot of stencils. I'm not gonna lie. Or not stencils, brushes. Lots and lots of brushes. Oh, 
I'm gonna swap right back over it with the I made it just blue. All right, then all else fails, you go over it with black. Now we're gonna have a gray. But I think I'll like that. Okay, this is the swoosh motion, swirling swooshing motion. Oh yeah, I like that, that's pretty. There's that. Now we're going to get our lemons in. I know you guys have all been waiting for the lemons. She's been popping in and out for a bit. All right. So I have these two stencils that come in a pack. They all come in a pack, three stencils actually. And I'm just using each of the lemons out of them. So I just usually place, make sure this is all dry. Yeah. Place it on, and of course, I think I used all my little brushes. Oh, where are all my other brushes? I have a whole bunch here. I'm going to get this one cleaned off so we can actually use the yellow. The trick is when you clean it off, you got to try and make sure it's really, really dry if you're going to switch off bet between um, colors and use water in between. You really want to make sure your brush is dry, doesn't have a ton of moisture holding into it because that could cause a problem for you. Definite problem. So I'm going to do the yellow, the bright yellow. And I have a lemon yellow. Where's my lemon yellow? Here it is. Lemon yellow. It's a little titch lighter than the bright yellow. But I'm going to also add some white. And we'll do the lemon yellow. Okay. All right. So first we'll just try with just the yellow. I'm going to put my finger right over the top of that. Well, we need white. You can tell already. And we're going over some stuff a little bit, but we're going to just lift it up. I'm going to take a look and I'm going to go back in and do more, okay? And this is just to get some of the lemon in there. Usually I tape this off. That's why you want to tape the thing down too because your fingers stick to them. That causes a problem. So always remember those couple things and you'll be okay. So we're just going to tape off these letters next to it. And we're going to get our first coat of our lemons on. And then I'm going to have to trace over with the stencil probably or just find my line for my truck and I'll do right over the top of that and I'll just paint in that top part. Um, that way I don't have to worry too much about it all. All right, so there's a couple lemons. We're going to do a couple of the double ones. I'm going to just do a little bit different yellow, see if I can distinguish between the two here. Sometimes that works. Yeah, nice. Okay. So that's the start of my lemons. I think I'm going to put a little bit of some, oh, we could just put the lemons lemons on the truck instead of the 25 cents. Let's see how that looks. While I have it down, I'm going to use my, I had another brush that was 
flat. Oh, there it is. Grab my green. Get that leaf in there. So we don't have to worry about that later. Because the ones in the back of the truck, we're going to have to, I might hand to do the leaves in there. And if you have been commenting, I apologize if I can't see you and acknowledge that you're here, but I will um, answer questions and chat with you after the live. I'll go back through and look at them because it'll show up. It just won't show me now, apparently, because that's what Facebook likes to do to me. Not let me see. So. I'm just adding in a little bit of a darker highlight. Nice. Oh well, yeah, that looks up nice on the side there. Okay. And then we could have one fall out of the truck if I can get it get it on here. It's upside down, but it's not all right, I guess. Okay, we'll go in with that green again. There we go. Nice. All right, we're going to go in with the green up here. Get some stems, make some leaves. I'm just make free handing these leaves because it's just easier than trying to line up the stencil just right. I can see a little bit of where the stencil kind of was because I want overlapped it a little bit, so that's okay. Okay. That one we're not gonna worry about. All right, we're gonna go into that dark brown again, and we're just gonna kind of paint over where that line is on the truck, get that back to where it's supposed to be. So sometimes, if you can see now, when we do stencils and we do painting, there's a lot of extra little detailing we have to do to make it kind of a complete painting. So rather than just, I mean, you can do something simple, like we could have just painted our truck instead of stenciling our truck, right? Which is totally fine. Um, I've done it that way. Uh, I like to use the stencil sometimes just because it's there. But you could paint the truck and then the only stencil you use would be the words in the upper part which is super cool too right so there's those ways you can do things so we need to do this line too or you know there's this way where you stencil in you paint you stencil on top of that paint and you just add it into layers so you know I'm layering I put the truck in there and now I'm layering in my lemons i could have put the lemons down first kind of where i wanted it and then laid the truck in and if it would have been a flat piece of wood i might have done it that way but being that it was so hard for me to hold the truck in place in here i just felt it was easier for me to do it the way i did it and go around it and then do the detail work if that makes sense so yeah, and if you're watching the replay, just let me know. I'm super excited to teach you guys all these new techniques in the group. So those that are 
joining the group. I am so happy that you did because I am super excited to have this nice, cute little group of learning projects and learning techniques and sharing things with each other. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm super excited to share what I've learned. Like this is one of the things that I've really learned and embraced. So I'm excited to share that with you all as well. So I'm just kind of touching up some spots and going over where the lemon went over the teal part of the truck because the lemons are supposed to be in the box of the truck, not out of the truck, right? So we're getting that fixed. And then we'll put some more mud on there. And then I thought, what a cute, okay, so I want to put a little bit of flowers on those little poofs of um, grass spots that I made so you can see the little, ooh, little grasses ooh, there. Oh, there's some down here. And do some little, little tiny itty bitty flowers. And then have a little, couple little bees on my thing as well. I thought that would be super cute. So we're going to go for that too. Just like to lighten up some of this here up in the sky, give it some wispy cloudiness to it. Maybe. Let's see. Let's try this. There we go. A little bit more, a couple spots we didn't. So we're kind of missing some color. We'll get some in there. And again, I'd love to see where all of you are from. It's like one of my favorite things to see how many, where everybody tunes in from. So hopefully you're all setting that in the comments for me to see later. Thanks. All right. Just going this way. This is. There we go. That blended it in better. Sometimes you just gotta work with things a little bit extra and then it pulls together. Some more wispy clouds in there. And we could go over this with like steel wool or a little bit of sandpaper and kind of rustic it up a little bit later after it completely dries. That's something neat before we stain it. That might be a, another neat little trick to do later. All right, let's get back in with the... Mississippi mud and I need to keep my I need to keep my yellow brush good because we're gonna be doing that B. So I'm just gonna wrap it in a baby wipe for now and stick it off right here to the side so that it stays good for us. We'll get this chip brush all dried off again. All right, we're going to mud up our truck a little bit here. And I'm going to, where did my, there's my black. I'm going to go in and do some 
more detail work on these lemons. Put some outlines into them. Also, And I will take the little paint tape off when we're done so you can see the finished. You won't see it after I, before I stain the outside, but you'll see the finished picture better. All right, sorry. Probably can't see me doing this part right now, but I promise I will. Lift it up here in just a second. It's hard to do this detail work. Lift it up. Almost done with this part. Birds are just chirping away out here today. It's crazy. All right, and then we're gonna go in with some white. This is where we're at right now. The white I can do a little bit better. You see that? Can do a little bit easier with the white. I don't. I don't tend to give myself enough grace when I do the black as a detail work because. I feel like I have to be a little bit more careful with that stuff. All right. Do a little bit of white on the top of the roof. there but that's all right see looking good huh all right let's do some flowers let's do since we got a lot of yellow on here and we're gonna have bees that are yellow too let's do some pink flowers i think would be really cute bright pink and we're just gonna do super 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 simple little flowers just tiny little buds, basically, on some of these little. I'm just dabbing my brush, just dabbing it to give it some buds. See? I don't know if you can see that. See? Just a couple dabs. Nothing real out there. There we go. See that? That looks good. All right. Last one. So that came in my Easter one. I got this bee in this big thing here. And of course, it's big again. So the trick is going to be getting it down in there, right? And my flowers are still wet. I should have done the flowers last. Okay. Go. All right, and then I'll have to go in with my detail brush to get the black part of it. Okay, so we're just going to go in with that bright yellow. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Could have done it the opposite way. Maybe I should have done black instead of the yellow. I don't know. 
We're going to do it this way this time. I think last time I did it the other way, so we'll do it this way. There's no right or right way. It's whatever you prefer. I should have noticed that I did the black last time, and I know it turned out cute, but you know what? You never know until you try things. That's what I say. Like, we could stencil a project and just hate it, and guess what you do? You just either, if it's on a piece of wood, you sand it off. If it's on uh, if it's on a piece, if it's on a canvas, then guess what you do? You just paint over it and start over. Like, that's the fun of it. Don't stress out. Don't get upset at yourself. I mean, there's no reason to be mad. Right? No, I want to put a third one, but I don't know where I'm going to put the third one, I think. Normally, you're supposed to have at least three, two, one to one to three, like odd numbers, but I'm thinking I might only be able to get two. Let's see. Let's see. It's because it's this big thing. I'd love to cut it apart, but then I get worried that it wouldn't. I don't like, I don't know. I don't like that idea either. <laughs> can't get it. I want to put it in the corner, but I can't. All right. We're going with two people. We're going with two. I had this other one, this other big lemon stencil. Sometime I'll have to do that. Put it on like just lemons or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Okay. Back to that liner brush again. And we're going to go in and just give, see, that's why I did the bees in the black, because now I got to paint the head in where I wouldn't have had to do that if I did the black and did the yellow separate. So this is where you learn, right? It's okay. And I could have just gone back over it with black, but we're not gonna, we're just gonna wing it this way. Gives me some like solitude of fine art painting. Which I am not a fine artist, people. Just so you know, if you were looking for a fine artist, I was not a fine artist for sure. I kind of like it this way because then the bee can have some little yellow hints of yellow in the head and stuff too i guess it's nice We're just painting in the lines of the B right now. So I'm sorry again that you're probably not able to see what I'm doing, but I will. This is pretty much the last step, and then we're going to reveal what it what happened with my painting. I want to know also in the comments who already signed up for the wait list and who's super excited to start in me getting new projects and new SVG files and a whole new group to just hang out with. It's going to be fun. Super excited. Okay. Oh, those turned out cute. I like it that way. I'm glad I did it that way. Okay, we're going to take the tape off. Here we go. All I already can see where I didn't get real close, but I can take a real small angled brush and get in there. 
I saw it over here, and so that's what I was doing, working on that, but I didn't see the green part. There we go. What do you think? What do you think? Is that neat or what? I like the color of the truck. I like how that turned out. And I just, I don't, I think it's going to turn out to be, sorry about my nose is running. So, um, it's kind of dry out here and it gets to me. Look at that. Get in close and see all the different little, we got the little flowers. We got him mudding. He lost some lemons. The bees are humming around. Which I'd like to put one more bee in there, but. My stencil won't let me get that close. So this is the project for today. So it's just another take off the one we did last time. This was the one we did last time in case you missed that one. Right? So we just did it a little bit differently on this one. So now we got two different lemon. Oh, sorry. Two different lemon trucks. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Love it. I love it. Turned out really cute. Can't wait to seal it all and either somebody will end up messaging me and want it right away, which has been happening with all my, with all of these kind of trays. They all like my trays, which I'm super thankful for. But I like to paint them for myself too. And then I'm like, okay, you can have that one. I'll get a different one, right? So, okay, well, that is it for today. Thank you for spending the last hour with me. I hope that you enjoyed this, and we will see you again soon. Remember, if you want to get in that stencil group as a founding member, it's $15 as a founding member. So you'll, that will be what you pay for life in the group of the membership. Otherwise, it will be going up to $25. You will get happy mail once a month with something to do with stenciling. Um, could be anything. It could be an actual thing to use for stenciling. It could be a stencil. It could be, um, I don't know. I There's so many things I have in my head. A mug like that says something about stenciling. Like any, like it's just going to be like happy mail. It will be a surprise every month. You won't know what you're getting, but it's super exciting and um, I already have maize already set, ready to go. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because too excited for that. And then we have SDG files for those of you that have like a Cricut or Silhouette or some kind of a cutter that can cut your own laser or own stencils out of either vinyl or um, mylar. So we'll have SVG files for you for that. Um, we will also have one to two projects a month in there of just new things that I've come up with that I think would be um, cute and fun for all of us to do on all different things. Uh, if there's something super specialty or something and I, and I can figure out a way to do it low cost, that might be your happy meal. Like I might send you a special cutout piece of wood or something like that if, if that's what we decide to do so that's why you know the first the first few members of my founding members you will stay in at 15 dollars, but that's why it will go up to 25 dollars because it is going to be a bigger value um the costs are going to be a little higher on my end just because i am sending out mail to you once a month um but yeah i'm excited and i hope you are too i cannot wait uh, there is a link in this video. If you can't find it, just type waitlist and I can get it sent to you as well. So sometimes, I don't know, sometimes things get messed up here in uh, Facebook land. We love to use Facebook and we love to collaborate and have fun in Facebook, but sometimes um, there's just so many changes just for Facebook to keep up with us that we have to kind of evolve and change and pivot with them to um, help them out. So I am very thankful that you were able to join me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a blessed and happy day 
and a blessed and happy um, next week. Hopefully all things go good for you next week. And we will see you again soon. Don't forget to check um, us out on Dueling Tracy's. Myself and the other Tracy are in there. Um, the Tracy from Cats, Cats Whiskers, Tracy Abbey. Um, her and I do every Tuesday. We were doing barnyard animals this year, this month. So we've done a cow and a chicken, um, which I stenciled on. Let me show you quick. So we did the cow and the chicken. And um, if any of you know me they and follow me, you know that I do, um, I do a lot of my art. I do just uh, because I want to honor God because I'm very Christian. I, I do talk about that a lot, but. Um, so this is the cow we did, and I stenciled on Walk Humbly and the Bible verse. And then last week we did the chicken, and it was Act Justly, Micah 6, 8. And that turned out super cute. They were both mixed media, and then I just did the stenciling on top of it. And then um, we we're going to be doing the pigs. The pig is going to be next week, so super excited. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.